Now, given that The Mandalorian Season 3 finale is now available on Disney+, Plus, and John and Dave are now officially moving forward to The Mandalorian Season 4, Ahsoka Season 1 and 2, as well as a handful of other Star Wars shows that are about to be announced at this year's D23 event, which, by the way, takes place this September. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that there's been a lot of controversy, a lot of criticism among fans toward the third season based on many of the decisions made by Disney for this particular one, we have seen John Favreau, Dave Filoni coming forward and really responding to the fan backlash and criticism about all of this. And given to this day, there's a lot of things happening with Disney Star Wars. We have the shakeup happening between the executives, the board, and Bob Iger still. That's not really settling down anytime soon, which, you know, could be for better or worse, depending on where it goes for Star Wars. Now, Looking at everything about Dave Filoni, what I'm so excited about for him is the fact that he wrote the entire script of the, Ahso of the Ahsoka series. Let's not forget about that. He's the main writer, and he handled the entire show on his own with the help of Jon Favreau. Now, going back to the Mando Season 3 finale and what Dave Filoni had to say, he had to actually get a chance to reveal quite a number of things related to some of the choices that they had to make for Mando, what got in their way, what kind of brick walls they hit, Kathleen Kennedy, and more. So, Dave Filoni, what I like about him and respect about him so much, like Favreau, is that they stay connected to the fans and they are respectful to everybody. Now, with Disney CEO Bob Iger now making drastic changes to the roadmap to focus on movies mainly again, However, in a recent interview, Dave Filoni went on to unveil some very surprising details about Mando Season 3 to the fandom by stating the following. So yeah, if I really have to be honest, we did run into some creative struggles with Kathy on finding the right balance to what we were, allu to what we were alluding to at the time when we were writing the script. She had specifically instructed that we back off a bit on heavy cameos, specifically character cameos. Myself and John did have initial plans to throw in Ezra and Thrawn toward the tail end of the show to set things up for Ahsoka, specifically for the final episode if I had to be exact. We never had any intention to bring Luke back in this season, though. We wanted to give him a complete break to keep the balance and his mystery alive, you know? But our big plan was to really focus on the unknown regions with Thrawn and Ezra, and the setup to the Ahsoka show. But Kathy did not want us to do that. She felt the overuse of cameos was going to taint the series. Now let me just stop right here quickly for one second about what Dave Filoni is saying, is that this is something that Favreau teased just the other day about how they had a big time cameo planned for the end of, of season three, and I even said that it most likely was gonna be Thrawn, very obvious, and here you have Filoni confirming that. And I think that was one of the biggest missed opportunities to really hype the fans up for Ahsoka and how they could have ended Mando Season 3. That's my one complaint big time for the finale. As much as I like the finale, mostly toward the tail end as well, it didn't really have a climax. It didn't have a big moment toward the end of that episode, nor did it even have something to set the next show up, such as a post credit scene or an after credit scene. I just felt Grogu and Din Djarin hanging out at their home in the middle of nowhere was very anticlimactic, for me at least. That's just me, I don't know about you. But Dave Filoni saying here that Kathy did indeed get in the way, of preventing major cameos coming into the equation for Mando Season 3 and how she wanted to break that tradition for a little bit goes to show you that, yes, that's why there were no big-time cameos in this season. We only got Zeb, and Dave Filoni touches on that in a little second. Now, the thing about this as well, all right, given that Dave Filoni is a visionary, he is the true protege of George Lucas, we gotta remember that Dave worked with George Lucas for many, many years when developing the Clone Wars, when talking things over with him about what he was going to do with Star Wars Rebels. He really is like the true protege of George Lucas. As much as I love Jon Favreau, 
Dave Filoni really like knew George personally for a very long time. Whereas Jon Favreau, you know, really came into Star Wars on his own using his contacts from The Lion King and Jungle Book. Let's not forget about that. Now, on to the next thing, all right? He goes on to elaborate. And so we did have to rewrite quite a number of episodes because we were building up to that point of their appearance, talking about Thrawn and Ezra, through other characters' dialogue. We were going to tease Thrawn visually after we introduced the Shadow Council, too. And this, too, was crossed out of the script earlier in pre-production. But, that, but now that me and John are doing something very big with the next one, I think fans are going to be blown away. We got the chance and approval from Kathy to throw in Zib, and she was okay with that and a more minor cameo, so we said let's do it. Separate from what Dave stated, Kennedy did have some form of creative control for season 3 as it turns out, during the scripting phase only, well before she lost her creative power at Lucasfilm in early 2022, leaving John and Dave now gaining complete control over season 4 that is planned to bring back Luke in all his glory as well. Now, again, Dave admitting that they intentionally did not want Luke to return to keep up a break. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And we all expected this. We all saw that coming, right? Anyways. But what we all expected were at least some very interesting cameos that were going to deliver more to the story that would connect to other shows. Again, I don't believe that cameos are the magic pill to make a great Star Wars show or movie, all right? Let's be honest, I don't believe that at all. But if it serves the story or if it sets something up for the next show, that's where it could very well be done perfectly. You know, we saw that done before in the past. We saw basically how Luke's entrance into Mando season two was kind of like a setup for how Luke was gonna return in Book of Boba Fett and how Mando, you know, itself really set up the Book of Boba Fett as well. So, you know, it was unfortunate that we did not get any major cameos. Instead, we got celebrity cameos such as Jack Black and Lizzo. Zeb, you know, was a little fun cameo as short it was, as it was in that, you know, moment where you got to see him for a couple of seconds at most. Uh, so that was nice. We are going to be seeing him more, by the way, in the Ahsoka Tano series. So that technically was a setup to there. But... Again, I mean, Dave Filoni really putting it out there that yes, Kathy had some kind of control during the scripting phase only. So when they were filming, it seems like, you know, they were somewhat free, but they had to go by the script and what was written and that was also a big problem. But when you look at stuff like this, given that Kathleen Kennedy is just always butting into things that causes nothing but trouble, I'm very much glad that she has Little to no creative power now, except for Acolyte and Skeleton Crew so far, by the way. So, I would like to hear what you all have to say about Dave Filoni and the whole cameo scenario and how things went with Mando Season 3's script and how Kathy did have some kind of control over that. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.